What do you think the average life expectancy will be in 200 years from now? If we don't change what we're doing now, um, it will be 10 years shorter. So for the first time in the United States, life expectancy is going backwards, right? So my children, statistically speaking, have a shorter life expectancy than I do. So there's two sides to the sword. I believe that if you're alive in five years, it will be your choice whether or not you want to live to age 120 or 150 because the convergence of artificial intelligence, big data, and early detection has the capacity to truly extend life. The vast majority of what you're referring to there, these jumps in life expectancy, happen for two reasons. They happened, one, because we developed sewage, and the other was you know, sanitation. 50 years ago, OBGYNs didn't wash their hands between babies. We were still doing frontal lobotomies. We used leeches as a common practice in medicine. So being antimicrobial and getting waste away from society. Those were the two biggest jumps in life expectancy. Now that we have the data, people can either follow the data or not. So you're going to accept that community connection, faith, medicine, movement, sleep, and whole foods are a recipe for life extension. And you're going to get on that bandwagon. And then you're going to take advantage of early detection and big data. And you're going to live to 120 or 140, or you'll stay in the same zone that we're in now over medicated and the life expectancy will continue to shorten.